Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is update one for the Partners in Cream project pan. This is so exciting. This is the first update that we're doing. This was a project started by Steph Lyons and myself here on YouTube. And it's just been so crazy and cool to see so many people be interested in this project. I think the last I looked, which was like last night or maybe earlier today, um, that we have over 70 people signed up, both participating both here on YouTube and on Instagram. There is a spreadsheet link down below where you can go click, it's got links to Instagram profiles, it's got links to Utah, YouTube um, profiles, and there's also a giant playlist that we are adding videos. As soon as we see them posted, we try to get them up there. So make sure you check those out. But this project really quickly is a year long project pan where we're working on, I know, there was a little bit, I guess, misinformation. It's like three to five or four to six. However, I don't, I don't, it doesn't really matter how many items that you do. If you want to do these, the, the main rule is that it's cream or liquid products and the, it is rolling and it's a year long, maybe even longer if, if the people really stay interested and want to do it. I'm definitely, I probably have plenty of cream and liquid products that need to be worked on for the rest of my life. So here we go. Enough with the introduction. I'm going to go ahead and jump into my products. I have some, some exciting uh, like updates and some not so exciting. So my first product was my pure contour stick and I had pretty much, it had maybe used this product one time last, um, update or yeah, like one time at the introduction. And I wasn't quite sure what to set my goal for. So I said, let me use half of this stick here. And I'm shocked that hopefully before I like roll it all the way up, do you see how much is like missing from this tube? I, I think I, because there was so little product went at the beginning, I kind of thought, well, this is going to go slowly and it totally has not. So that's all we have left. And here we go. I'll show you the, on the spreadsheet or on my little sheet here. So that's where we are now. And I definitely think that I've hit my goal of using half of it up, but because it's going so quickly, I'm gonna see if I can't finish this first. I, I know I said in the introduction that I would roll this out when I hit halfway, but I really think that it's way more doable than I initially thought. So I'm gonna work on finishing this top part here and then I will see about rolling out, rolling in another product, like maybe next update if I'm able to do it by then. So that's what we're gonna do for this one. Oh, before we move on to the next product, I do wanna say that at the intro, this one weighed, that one weighed 40.6 grams and now it weighs 39.1 grams. And I have used it about 25 times, which I think is, to, to be fair, when I hear that, when I say that out loud, 25 times literally used up about half of this product. That kind of sucks, but it, it's a good project goal. But at the, the end of the day, if I luckily I only paid like $2.99 for that at TJ Maxx, but had I bought that thing at full price, I would be very ticked off. So moving into the next product, this is Stila's Glitter and Glow in the shade Fairy Tale. I'm really enjoying this product. Now, I thought I would have way more progress than what I have on it because um, I've been wearing it so much, but I, I don't. I wish I had more progress, but I don't. So this is a gorgeous shade. As you can see, it's got this kind of brown undertone. Uh, we've got a, like a little bit of metallic sheen to it. And then it's got pink glitter in it, which is really pretty. So I've been really, I found that I like the shade Bloom from the Sultry palette or like a nice kind of muted pink shade up in my crease. And then I will put this all over my lid and it's such a nice shade. At the intro, we weighed 32.9 grams and now we are weighing 32.4. So. I have had to rehydrate it, so I don't know if that means that maybe I've used more of the product than I thought I have, but because I'm having to drop some oil or eye, um, eye drops in it once in a while, that the weight isn't really going down as much. And also, I I haven't moved the line at all, which is surprising. And again, I think I've worn this, let me check. I've worn this about 15 times, which I really expected more progress on like movement on the line on some way but that probably means that I hadn't marked it right at the beginning because I before doing the intro I had not pushed the like product down with like a stick or something and now I have been doing that as because I've been mixing stuff up so I'm, I think I'm more aware that I have like I had more product at the intro than I do now but all in all I am really enjoying this product so I'm going to keep it in another month and we'll see what happens. The next product is my Stila Kitten Highlighter, and this one I've actually reached for over 25 times, I know. I've been wearing it almost every day as like either a base to a highlight or a highlight topper, 
if my highlight ends up being a little too light, I'll put this on over the top. I am wearing it today too, mixed with some other highlights. And at the intro, this weighed 68.7 grams, and now we're at 68.5 grams. So not the best progress. I do want to show you though. I'm I am kind of an idiot because had I like been focusing, had I been focusing on the side, I think I would maybe be way closer to hitting pan, but I'm someone who likes to use things in the middle. <laughs> and so it was a mounded product. So now it's just, I'm making progress, but it's just gonna be slow going. So I have a feeling this will be in for another month or two, we'll see. But I hope, I really, I really wanted to hit pan on this way sooner so that I, I have so many other uh, cream and liquid highlights that I wanted to like roll into this project. But this one's sticking around for a little while, it looks like, so. I guess I have to be okay with that. Next up is my Rosy Tint Lips from Etude House. And this is, I don't know what Pastelin was thinking putting in a liquid lipstick into this project. I've never even finished a liquid lipstick, so Pastelin is a bit of a jerk, but here we are. I actually am making pretty decent progress on this. This weighed 16.1 grams at the intro, and now we are at 15.4. I am able, like I actually really surprisingly am enjoying this product. I thought there was a lot less product in it, but now that I've been using it regularly, I realize, okay, it's got a lot more product in it than I thought, but it's actually really comfortable, so it's not a pain to use or like frustrating to use at all. And then I've also recently, the past couple of days, been trying it as a liquid or a cream blush underneath my foundation, and it's so nice. I actually did that technique today, and I think it looks really good. It's kind. It's got this like slightly orange undertone to it, which I also think is very like flattering. And because it's so comfortable, I can wear it over a balm. I can wear it alone. I today I have it on under a gloss, and it's just so nice. I'm really surprised that I found a liquid lipstick at all that like I don't hate working on regularly. But this one so far has been really enjoyable. I am curious to see how long this one's gonna take, but I'm really excited to actually have this in a project, and I'm surprising myself that I'm enjoying it so much. So. Also, I've used that one about 30 times or more, probably. I may have forgotten to like log uh, reapplications throughout the day because I have occasionally remembered to bring that to work with me. So I'm very proud of that. That's a big deal for me. <laughs> and then the last product I have been working on is my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Sugar. And this one, I'm just trying to hit pan on. This is where we are. I'm not quite there yet. This was a pretty, one of my least used ColourPop shadows when, when I put it in this project, and I'll have photos where you can see the actual difference in it. Now, you'll see that like over here, there's a little bit of a dip. I accidentally dropped it and like I dug my nail in. I was able to push it back in there, but still it, it just kind of looks misformed a little bit. But I am, when I go to use this product, I try to make sure I swirl all around and then push a little bit more in the center and try to use it as evenly as I can because I know sometimes it's really easy to dig right there in the middle. But I'm trying so hard to not, you know, overuse this product in the middle and like actually wear it down evenly. So that's a swatch of that. It's a very beautiful, cool tone blue shade. I am really enjoying it right now during these like winter months. And so this is fun. I've been having a lot of fun with it. And I've been trying it along with some like neutral tones, like browns and stuff. And then I've also been putting it on some pastel shadows and they're, they're both very beautiful. So I'm enjoying it. Hopefully this will be done at the end of next month, but fingers crossed, I would love to, I have a lot of other ColourPop shadows that I wanna hit pan on this year, so hopefully this will have pan by the next update and then that way I can roll in something else. So at the end of this first update, I haven't hit goal on anything technical, or I have hit goal on one thing, but I'm gonna finish this. So I'm not rolling anything new in this one's place, but I have hit goal on it so far. And I, I am feeling good about my other products, but hopefully next update we'll have some more interesting, uh, like completions and I'll be able to roll in some new products. So that's everything for this video. Make sure you say hello in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I'm so excited to see everybody's updates. Please, again, go check out that playlist. It's linked below. I'll try to link it up here. I love this project so much. I love this community so much. And I'm so flattered that people want to come hang out and, and be partners in cream with us. And I'm just thrilled that this many people love this project and people seem to be really enjoying watching it. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for participating. I hope that your project is successful and doesn't feel like one of cream and punishment. You get that? Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Bye.